Hi, my name is Michael Lehman, and this is Trailers from Hell. Today we're going to talk about The Asphalt Jungle, a great film by John Huston. It holds up incredibly well. It's lots of fun, extremely well made, a classic of film noir, but better than all those film noir movies that everybody else likes. This one is really fantastic. One of the funny things about this trailer is they sell the movie as if it's a literary event. And in fact, what's, uh, what's fun about it is it's a, it's a good crime drama. It's a caper film. And what makes it so good is the characters and the performance. I suppose then it makes some sense. They're selling this as, as if it's a, a, you know, a high-quality literary film and they've got quotes from writers, which is very funny. But uh, in fact, this movie is completely fun to watch. It's fun to watch because um, it has a great performance by Sterling Hayden in the lead. Great meaning wooden and, uh, and stiff and entirely unconvincing, but absolutely perfect for the role. And a, a great lead into the roles he did later for Stanley Kubrick in The Killing and Dr. Strangelove. And it also has fantastic, fantastic supporting parts. Um, I particularly love Louis Calhoun as Emmerich, a wealthy man who's uh, going broke and is trying to rip off these guys who are pulling a heist for him. He's shot from the side all the time so that his nose looks bigger. You can even see it in the trailer. They just got that big nose there. There are a lot of, a lot of profile shots in this movie. It's really amazing. And um, Sam Jaffe, who plays Doc Riedenschneider, I think it is, um, who is setting up this caper, is, uh, puts in a terrific performance with, the, with a funny halting walk and a, and a constant clicking of the heels and nodding and uh, a cute little German accent. And Marilyn Monroe playing a bimbo so much better than anybody can these days. I mean, you'd think Britney Spears would learn something by looking at her. Uh, it's an early performance. She was quite good. James Whitmore is very funny, very odd, plays a hunchback. Come on, look out! Look out! You ain't break clothes! You haven't seen him already speak! You're not winding up for your fellow pickers! You're gonna wind up for no more! This movie really holds up, mostly, as I keep saying, because of all these wonderful performances by these great actors. And um, John Huston directed it, and it's extremely well put together. It's very tight. It's very well shot. It moves along. It's not as gritty and dark as, as other film noirs of the time, and it's maybe a little bit too slick for its own good. But I've seen it over and over again over the years, and it, it never lets me down. It never lets me down. I always love to see it. I, I made a tape of it off of the Z Channel in L.A. way back in the early 80s, and, and I watched it until the tape wore out. 